Well, from one small central Georgia city to orbiting the sun and sending pictures of the deepest reaches of the universe we have ever seen. Home to just over 20,000 people in Middle Georgia State's School of Aviation, the city of Eastman is also home to an important part of the new James Webb Space Telescope. And I got to take a look. T-minus 30 seconds and counting. A Christmas present unlike most for Eastman's Rick Kronz. The now retired director of the Institute for Applied Aerospace Research at Middle Georgia State had his eyes glued to a rocket launch in South America. That rocket launch carried the James Webb Space Telescope into space the morning of December 25th, nearly 3,000 miles away from central Georgia. I was at home, the TV was on, and we're wrapping, you know, open presents and watching it at the same time, and I'm getting phone calls. The first images from the James Webb were recently released, giving mankind the first glimpse at the final frontier in such high quality. The road to get to that point went right through Dodge County. Well, the mechanism that uh, draws the heat from the computers off the spacecraft craft was sent into space. We built that right here in uh, Eastman. The telescope is orbiting the sun at nearly a million miles away from Earth. On board are computers and equipment to transmit pictures and data back to our planet. And just like your computers at home, they can overheat. That's where Kronz and his team at Middle Georgia State University came into the picture. They designed and built hardware to transfer heat generated on the telescope back into outer space. We delivered the parts up to Goddard and they explained to me how important that piece that we made was to the whole project and uh, about fainted. <laughs> Krantz, former interns of his, and other businesses in Eastman worked together to build equipment able to withstand the journey to space and to keep the telescope operational once there, an eight-year project from 2008 to 2016. It's, it's cool to, you know, in conversation passing with people that you can say that, hey, you know, me as an intern and Middle Georgia State University had a lot of our parts that we made go into first in flight and be put on the telescope and sit in outer space. After eight years of working on it, capped off with five years of waiting to see the results in mid-July, Kronz's reaction? It was unreal. It was just, is this, is this real? I know I've seen pictures before, but to, to see the images that were coming out, it was, it was just awestruck. In Eastman, Alex Forbes, 13 WMAZ News. Now, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to at least uh, uh, designed to last at least five and a half years, but scientists now say it could last longer than 10 years. So some pretty exciting stuff going on down there in Dodge County.